Welcome Scorpio to your activation. Okay, so um, we're doing the activation at the end of this video, so please stay till the end, okay? And also, um, if there's another video that has come out and the zodiac sign is not in your birth chart, please go and check it out anyway if you're drawn to it, okay? Um, because there could be something in there that um, you also need. Uh, the other thing I want to say is, what else was going to say? Oh yes, if the messages um, don't resonate with you necessarily, then um, just do the activation anyway, okay? Because it has come out under your um, zodiac sign for a reason. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Work your light oracle cards. Uh, what we that's what we will be using for the activation. Sorry, <laughs> I was like, you should just know. <laughs> um, Sacred Spirit reading cards and Light Seer's Tarot. Okay, Scorpio, let's do this. Okay, so Hidden Realms create conscious awareness. This is really interesting, actually, Scorpio, because normally I get from this card that these, there's a need to um, connect in with, you know, other realms. Um, but actually, I feel like this is on the earth plane here. I feel like this is, an, uh, for some of you, you need to be aware of the vibration of other people around you. You need to be consciously aware of how other people's vibration is impacting you or certain situations or even places how they are impacting you very interesting because i have never got that from that card before scorpio so let's just have a look interesting thing too i'm also seeing the lion here i keep seeing the lion and then i look um, but I'm just being reminded of Leo, so this could be um, how, it, for some of you, it might be a Leo in your life. It could be how they're impacting you or have impacted you. Okay, um, we've got the Four of Pentacles here, and I feel like for some of you, these things that you're keeping to yourself, this could be some of you trying to save some money here. Okay, um, but I feel like these things happening maybe in your life or things going on within that you don't want anyone to see that you're really trying to hide um, and it could be potentially Scorpio that you're trying to hide them even from yourself you're trying to ex deny their existence but they are there well and truly there and um, and I feel like it's important for you to share what is what it is that you're experiencing or what is going on for you instead of holding it within because holding it within is not going to help and it's actually going to stump your growth okay your personal growth um yeah i i do feel like that's something that you need to be aware of the king of pentacles we have here um so this could be for some of you this could actually be about investing money um Saving, like the king of pentacles he knows how to deal with his finances he's got what he where he's got because he's known what he's doing okay but if we're talking on a personal level here you know this is knowing how to deal with your stuff so that you can get to this this throne that you would like to sit on okay the king of pentacles wouldn't let anyone come along and um and have him impact uh what it is that he is building Okay, and um, so if there's a, a goal in your life that you would like to get to, um, it's sort of like he's aware of these hidden realms and he's aware how others impact him. And he also is aware of um, who's good for him and who's toxic, you know. So, um, yeah, he certainly, he spends his energy wisely and so I feel like this has been aware of like where you're putting your energy and who you're putting your energy into okay mm, interesting that's so interesting it's a different message 
Okay, so mindful wisdom, create inner harmony. Create inner harmony. Look at this owl here. Look at that Scorpio. Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio. I feel like, you know, this is so funny because I actually feel like this is you. This is you, Scorpio, internally. It's like for some of you, you sit there quietly observing what is going on around you. And so given that, and maybe this is what you need to do, is take a step back and observe. Observe who has your best interests at heart and who doesn't. Yeah. And just quietly watch. I feel like for some of you, this is about you needing to go into this, this quiet space that you often go to. That you often go to. But unfortunately for some of you, Scorpio, your thoughts follow. And they won't bugger off. And uh, I feel like this is necessary for you to leave those thoughts at the door very consciously um, so that you can rejuvenate. There's this feeling of needing to rejuvenate here. Kind of bring yourself back in. Because it's like, I don't know, it's like uh, this feeling of people plugging into you and sucking your energy and it draining you and you've been so tired that you try to rejuvenate but you just don't quite get there and then you go um, into these situations again or around these people again and you're getting drained so much and you you know you don't quite understand why it is you just can't quite get to this feeling of feeling amazing um, energetically yeah Anyway, mindful wisdom. It's two cards for mind or mind. Oh my words already, Scorpio. <laughs> I've also, I don't know if I told you already, just in case I haven't, but if I have, ignore me. I've written down the activations on my computer because the wording in the book's pretty small. So I'll be tapping that every now and then to keep it from closing down. Now I won't have to log in and take up your time. Okay, so mindful wisdom for Scorpio, please. Mindful wisdom. The sun. Wow. Yeah, see, this is this, this is where you need to get your energy from, right? You need to get your energy from um, nature. Right, Scorpio, go to the beach. Being a Scorpio, go to the beach. Yeah. Um, the chariot. Look at this. Wow. The chariot. Yes there's this need for you to rejuvenate for you to move forward at speed because I feel like although I do want to say that it could very well be for you to take some time out of your day instead of forever charging forward to take some time out to have this rejuvenation to create this inner harmony, you know, to, to kind of get this balance, this balance for you. We've got Ascended Masters, create open communication. See, yeah, this hidden realms, this is where the Ascended Masters hang, uh, if you like. So, you know, this could be for you needing to um, go inside and meditate to create um, this connection with the Ascended Masters, if you haven't done so already, Scorpio. But again, you see, I'm seeing this vibration around this person outside of themselves. Um, and I'm wondering if other people's vibrations are actually impacting your thoughts. Maybe what you think of yourself but there's some kind of impact on your thoughts here. And it's kind of like needing to raise your vibration. N not, not getting this upliftment necessarily from other people, but getting it from nature. Getting outside, breathing in the fresh air. Whether that be during the day or at night, doesn't really matter, you know. Everything's fine, everywhere. Page of ones, yes, 
look at this, learning, learning a new way of doing things. I feel like this is kind of like, it's like a passion, Scorpio, right? Because the ones are about passion. You know, this thing that sets your soul on fire and, and, and ignites your light within, you know, which with the sun here, you know, igniting this light within. And I kind of see this person here being the page of wands, right? She doesn't know how to use a wand yet because she's yet to learn this. That's why she's the page, right? And so she's, but she's having fun with it. Right, she's got it there, she's like flinging it in the air, like let's see what it can do. Let me see how I can light this wand, <laughs> you know, how, let me see how I can light this fire within me, this internal fire. For some of you, I feel like your fire might be a bit dimmed. Um, I just wonder if for some of you, you've been putting so much energy into other people or into work or into, you know, whatever it is that you put your time into, that it's just feeling like you need to just pull back a little bit and just, you know, whoa, just, you know, whoa, boy, whoa, you know, kind of thing. I don't know, that's what you do with horses, isn't it? <laughs> At least that's what I've heard on the movies. <laughs> anyway, um, we also have temperance here. Yeah, so taking some time to 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 rejuvenate again, maybe do some healing if any healing needs to be done for you, um, particularly from any past relationships. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be from friendships. It could be from family ships. It could be from any ship. Okay. To really, really make sure that you do all the healing that you need to do. Okay, become consciously aware of what it is that you need to do for yourself to create this inner harmony. Yeah, to create this open communication here. And um, and, and kind of blending that all together, right? Because she's, she's working out how she can use this wand here. And... Um, and it's like she has this passion. She knows she's got it. She's gone through, right through from the ace to the ten. And now she's at the stage of being the page, right? So she's learned a lot. But she knows there's still other ways to do things and other way, other things to learn. So I feel like this is, this is what this journey is for you here, Scorpio. Did I show you the temperance card? There was temperance. Did I show you that? I don't even know. Anyhow. Love and light, act with care. Act with care for yourself here, Scorpio. Okay. Um, I want to say for you, Scorpio, that some of you, there might be people tr around you trying to help you. And um, they have their, your best interests at heart. But um, for some of you, it might be that... You, you're not really wanting the help, maybe. Um, there's other avenues that you want to seek that from. And, um, yeah, so I would just, you know, maybe with this, you know, creating open communication is, is, is openly saying thank you so much, but... I want to go down this avenue here and maybe it's a direction that you want to um, go down that you need to let um, other people know, you know, that um, actually I don't want to go down this path with you anymore. You know, uh, this this could very well be the case. With the temperance card also, this is everything in moderation here, right? So there could be particular things that you've been doing with, with people. Um and going down a particular path and you may decide to veer off that path and go down another path here so i would just with this act with care do everything that you do with love and light in your heart okay um and and be gentle with it because you know scorpio you are a scorpio 
and sometimes words stink or you know so I would play things out in your mind and when you speak speak from your heart speak from a loving place you know speak from a place that you know that other people have feelings <laughs> you know and I mean that in a nice way you know but just be, I would say just be consciously aware of that is all okay that even if you are frustrated just to take that away with you sit on that let it drop into your heart and come back with a loving you know um position uh three of pentacles yeah see this could actually be accepting other people's help this is accepting that other people do want to help help you this may also be that you want to help other people thing is sometimes other people don't want help sometimes they just want to do it on their own okay um the other thing here scorpio is that Um, this is quite interesting because this card usually screams intuition for me but um, I know that this card can also represent secrecy and this is actually coming out for me because with love and light this person's eyes are not seeing and I just wonder if for some of you there's things you're not seeing and it could be even that people are accepting you in their life because they want you to somehow build them up. And it's not actually about what you think it's about. That's an interesting message. I have never had that from these cards before. But hey, I've got to go with what's coming through. Anyway, Scorpio, clear and activate Create sacred space. Yeah, man, you need to create your own space. And this is coming right directly under mindful wisdom here. You need to create your own sacred space to rejuvenate and, and, and protect yourself, you know. Protect yourself from vibrations of those around you. Be very, very, but this is really necessary for you to be conscious of this. Clear and activate, yeah. And clear your energy here, Scorpio, okay, make sure that you are taking the time to do that, be it through meditation, um, be it through saging yourself, be it through even getting a selenite wand, like sometimes I'll get the selenite wand and go over, you know, the energy field just to clear it and cleanse it, um, but yeah, I do feel like this is requiring you for to, to go deeper within, and as you clear and activate, things are going to become clearer for you, okay um you might be able to kind of clear this debris um from maybe other people's vibrations so that you can see your path your path and not everyone else's but your path and what is best for you because i feel as though scorpio deep down inside you know what is best for you but you know maybe this there's blurred because of other people's vibrations um two of swords yeah see this is not seeing this is not seeing um this could also be a decision that you need to make and it's really really hard for you to make and you're not sure which direction to go in but i want to say that you could take this blindfold off here because your hands are free but it's kind of like you're so busy fighting off these thoughts um and this could you know be other people's input as well that you're not realizing that you can take the blindfold off for yourself and see clearly which direction you need to go in but it's it's sort of like being embroiled in this situation where you feel like oh my god i'm so entangled now i don't know how to get out but actually you can get out it just doesn't appear to be clear okay it appears like it's it's not clear but in fact you have do have the answers within okay um i think you just need to trust in yourself that you have that okay and we have judgment yes you see scorpio there's something going on in your life because 
with the judgment card, this 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 person here is raising up from within this person here. I feel like Scorpio, this is you, and this is about you needing to release the judgment that you have on yourself, that you have within yourself. Because yes, there's people outside of you that you may feel are judging you. And if you know, sometimes this can impact us, Scorpio, because actually it reaffirms the judgments in ourselves that we already have. And do you know what, Scorpio? There might be people outside of you who aren't even judging you, but you believe they are because it is, in fact, yourself who is judging you. Yeah? And so you need to clear and activate that because look at this. This guy here, he's an or girl. He's in, in well, I'll say it's a guy because here I go. Um, he's in the same position that this one is here coming out, like surrendering. This is about you surrendering, right? Surrendering yourself. Um, releasing parts of yourself that don't serve you so that you can bring in part the, 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 the bits of yourself or a, allow them back in or, or maybe kind of like accept that there are parts of yourself that can serve you. Or at least learn to tap into those. Maybe that's what this is about. Learning to tap into those parts of yourself that do serve you. And that intuition may be one of these things. Yeah, listening to that. Not just listening to it, but acting upon it. Taking your intuition's advice, if you like. Okay? Um, it's kind of like you've been in a situation where you're like, oh, I'm not sure what to do. What do I do? And you don't want to share it with anyone necessarily. So what you can do... Scorpio, is imagine if your friend came to you with the same situation, what would you, in all honesty, tell them to do? Not what you want to hear, but what you know in your heart of hearts to be the best thing for you. Okay? Spirit messages. Observe limitations. See? Clearing this energy, clearing the energy around you, getting rid of all these vibrations that are impacting you. Okay? But also... Um, looking at your limitations that you're imposing upon yourself, okay, from keeping yourself from seeing, you know, letting these judgments get in your the way of this clear vision here, okay, because it is limiting you, and um, it's a matter of observing the fact that these limits um, sometimes can be, you know, a little bit self-imposed in a way, um, but spirit messages, tell me more. Two cards already. I love it. Okay. Coming away. Coming away from something. <laughs> Anything. Um, maybe coming away from doing this to yourself. Maybe coming away from judging yourself. Coming away from all this that does not serve you. One step at a time though, Scorpio. I mean, you know, this chariot here. Although this could be that, you know, you could do it. Just clean slate, man. Clean slate. Off you go. You know, coming away, moving away. Um, and the chariot is heading towards something that's, you know, that, that's a really good thing for you. It's triumph over, you know, times that have been really hard. And maybe this, you know, is yet to come for you. Maybe you're in the middle of this. Maybe you're contemplating this, okay? And it is possible, I think, you really need to have this faith in yourself that you've got the ability to do this, Scorpio. You totally do. Okay, and then we have the wheel. The wheel is a turning, okay, ready for a new beginning, okay, um, yeah, Scorpio, let's get on to this activation here, okay, sorry, let me just, okay, allowing the wheel to turn, Scorpio, allowing the wheel to turn, okay, so, Scorpio, what are you doing to me? <sighs> Protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. 
Wow. Wow. Okay, here we go. We're going to read this from here. This is the meaning of the card, what's behind the card, and then we're going to do the actual activation. Okay, so protection. Here we go. Wow. Okay, Scorpio. You are being called to protect your energy and call back your power. May all the lost pieces return home now. Take a look at who and what drains your energy. Wow. Do not keep your tabs open. Shut down energetically each night. Yes, I love that. That's a great thing to do. Energetic cords are formed between people, places, objects and events. So it's important to keep checking in. Yeah, that's that conscious awareness, right? Your energy and energetic space are sacred. So treat them as such. 100%. Keeping your energy clear takes work. As we go through life, we can give away our power. So it is important that we call it back by cutting energetic cords or doing a form of healing known as soul retrieval. Can you think of a traumatic event, relationship or soul memory that you are being called to call back your power from? Yeah. Check into your body now and see which chakra feels like it needs a bit of an energetic cleanup. Yeah, this is so good. And you know, um, Scorpio, you could do this um, activation for each of those events. You could do it for one event and come back and do it for another event. And that's the one thing I want to say here, Scorpio, is don't just do this once. Come back and do it every day or more than once a day if you need to and keep doing it, okay? Because you will start to notice a shift right so yeah um so here scorpio it says hold your hand on whichever chakra needs clearing and say out loud okay so let me just get this up and i'm just going to hold the card up here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to read out a few words at a time and give you time to repeat those out loud if you can okay um to yep so you can get this up okay here we go scorpio right i call back any lost soul fragments power or light now any vows soul contracts Hexes or programs from the past or present, from this life or others that are not in the highest good of all, I relinquish. Now, any power or light that I have willingly or unwillingly given away or had taken from me, I call back now. Any cords or attachments from this life or others, I release now for the highest good of all. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is.
take a nice deep breath, Scorpio. Wow. Powerful, huh? Scorpio, I really, really, really hope this helps you. Okay, so like I say, keep coming back to do this so that you can keep releasing and recalling, okay, to get this even balance that you need to travel on your journey throughout life. Okay, I'm really invested in helping you along this path as everybody else, okay. I'm really, really, this is something that I feel is called for in the world. So I ask you, Scorpio, in exchange for this free activation, to please share this video with whoever you can think of because it may help them as well. You know, other videos might help them. So please do that. Please like, please subscribe. And if you feel like you would like to share how this is helping you or the shifts that you're seeing or whatever you want to share, please comment below because you might just find that that helps someone else as well. Okay, Scorpio. Take care of your beautiful selves and stay protected. Okay, Scorpio. See you. Bye-bye.